Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February Boxy Charm. This is very light this month, so um, yeah, it's not really like the beginning of March, eight March of February, but let's just dive right into it. This month I have seen some spoilers, so yay. So this is Boxy Charm Be My Glamantine. That's what it looks like. And let's grab the first thing in here. And this is from a Aliyoub. Aliyoub, I think it's called. This is the Multitasker 4 in 1 makeup brush. That's what the packaging looks like. It's latex free, cruelty free, vegan, all of that jazz. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the thing. So, in here is a makeup sponge. Or I guess under your eyes. I don't know how well that would work. I guess you don't get it wet. Um, blending sponge. Blend liquid and cream products seamlessly. Okay. This is the powder contour area. And I think you go, yep. Yeah. And then, so then there's this here. And this is the medium brow, medium shadow brush. And then this is an eyebrow brush. So that is what that looks like. Um, I think this would be great if you're going on vacation. I feel like this is going to get wrecked by putting it in here. But um, I don't like brushes like this. I don't like double-ended brushes because, honestly, they get wrecked. I think you can kind of sit it like this. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. But this brush is $28. Yeah, I would never spend that much money on this kind of brush. And then there is this, but then there is this, and this is the Yensa Tone and Primer. This is the Essential Glow. It's got eight super, it says blacks, and it's essence on here. Yeah, it says blacks. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Let me, let me read this for you before anyone comes for me. Um, it's got black seed oil, black seaweed, black tea, shiitake mushrooms, black rice, uh, China seed, black, uh, Korean black raspberry, and nettle in it. So that's what it means by it's got super black essence in it. This is what it looks like. It moisturizes, preps the skin, blurs imperfections. I'm not going to take the lid off of it only because honestly, um, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it. It looks like the inside's dark, but I don't really know. So that's that. I do have a few products of theirs and I do actually like them. So I might, I might try it or I might just give this to a friend because I know that her makeup kit could probably use it more than mine does. So this is a $35 product. Hoo wee. So then in here is this, and I have seen this before, not in this box, but I've seen it in these boxes. Um, this month. This is the Bali Bomb Pineapple Lip Scrub. This is what the packaging looks like. Let me see if it smells like. Hmm. It doesn't really smell like pineapple. It literally looks like your standard lip scrub. This is a $23 product. I mean, it's a lip scrub. I have a lot of them. I'm actually trying to get through some of my stuff and get rid of stuff, so... We'll see if I'm keeping this or not. And then there is this here, and this is o OPV Beauty London, and this is a loose translucent powder in medium. Wait, this isn't translucent, this is just a loose powder. Oh, I thought it was a translucent powder. Okay, let me open the packaging. Oh, okay, so it's in medium. It's very yellow looking. I don't know. It kind of looks more like a banana powder than anything else. I'm not going to like the lift the lid up, but that's kind of what it's looking like. This is, um, oh yeah, it's very, very yellow looking. I might have to test it out. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm probably gonna have to give it to somebody. I don't think that this is good. This looks like banana powder. This literally looks like the color of my banana powder from well, everywhere in Ofra and all my other banana powders. This is a $22 product. 
Um, I'm kind of annoyed that it's colored and not translucent because this would work a lot better if it was translucent. I didn't realize that they came in colors. So there's that. And then the last thing in here is from Sunday Riley. Nope. Wowzers. Let's try that again. So the last thing in the box is from Sunday Skin and this is the Yen Yunzu Vitamin C Eye Cream. I think this is the one I picked. This is, yeah, this is what I picked. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging and then it just is a clear, clear eye cream. There isn't a scent or anything. It's just a very nice vitamin C eye cream. This is this is a $32 product, so that's not bad. I have been needing more eye moisture lately, under eye moisture, so I'm kind of happy to get this. So out of all of this stuff, I'm for sure keeping the eye cream. If this is too yellowy for me, the, like what looks like banana powder, I'm getting rid of that. I may or may not keep this, the lip scrub. Probably not keeping this. And I have no idea about this one. I am very not into this box this month. This box is literally a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to keep. I mean, I'll probably keep this just because it's a makeup brush and I could use part of it. But, yeah. Well, the total of everything for this month is on the screen um if you guys got any of these products or have used them and you really like them let me know in the comments below and um so i know just because i mean like yeah i don't know i am not very happy with this one's box honestly it's, i'm kind of disappointed it's kind of just keeps pounding that nail into the coffin of me trying to maybe cancel boxy charm so anyway, well, I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.